So I was planning to cut out a pattern today, which is the Joni jumpsuit by Friday Pattern Company. That is what I had planned, but my husband wants to go somewhere and he said that it's a surprise because I always do that. Like I'll tell him, hey, let's get ready and let's just go somewhere and you'll find out what it is when we get there. Well, he told me that it was his turn to return that same sentiment. So I got dressed and we're going to go somewhere and hang out and then I will come back and cut this pattern out and just chat with you about a couple little things. so beautiful just coming up here through all the windy roads and there were so many people like riding bikes up these hills I'm like oh my goodness I can't believe people ride bikes up these steep steep hills but I'm here and I will continue to share with you this journey Curious. I want to go see what's hanging over here because I think it's a view. So I want to see what the view is. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. You too. Okay. So this is cool. I guess it's like a restaurant in the mountains. I guess that's what it really boils down to. A restaurant in the mountains. There's a house way up there. So this is so nice, you guys. And I just ordered a burger and fries and I'm really hungry, so can't wait to get it. What? I thought this was, uh, <laughs> I thought this was hand sanitizer. <laughs> Do I want any hands in the face? home from my little day out which I absolutely enjoyed I had such a good time it was nice getting out and getting a little bit of fresh air so what I am cutting out today is the Joni jumpsuit by Friday Pattern Company I don't plan to actually sew this right away I'm going to cut it out and then so it's some time later, but I had a little bit of time. So I thought I would go ahead and get started on cutting this out. I really like Friday Pattern Company patterns. The first one that I ever ordered was the Wilder gown. And I really like how they have the little instructional booklet. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I really like that. And this is the paper pattern, so it's not the thin, you know, paper. It's a little thicker, so I like that. So since this is my first time opening this up, let me see what everything is looking like. 
Okay, so I've decided that I want to cut an extra small. And it's only one view, so I guess I'm going to need every piece. So I can just go ahead and start cutting. So, this doesn't look like it's going to be very hard. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's going to look like in the end. I read some reviews and some people were saying that they thought the bodice fit a little big around the bust area. So that's just something I will be paying attention to when I'm sewing mine and when I'm fitting it on just to see if there's any alterations that will be need to be made in that area, the bust area. Hopefully it will fit just fine because I don't really enjoy doing alterations like at all. And I'm not good at it. So I'm just hoping that the bust area will fit fine and then I don't have to worry about it. So I subscribed to Threads Magazine and I received my February issue earlier this week. I always get excited when Threads comes in the mail so that I can just like find a little nice comfy spot and sit down and open my magazine and see what's in there. And one thing that was in the magazine for the February issue is that Threads was coming out six times a year and they are now changing it to come out four times a year. So they are going to be printed out every season. So that should be nice to see. Then in addition to the magazine coming out every season, the magazine will also have a few additional pages. So because it's coming out a little less often, the magazine is going to be a little bit thicker or maybe just, you know, have those extra pages. It should make it thicker because it has those extra pages. But it should have more content, I'll say that. So I'm looking forward to how that is going to be. The last time I cut out one of these patterns, I forgot to cut the neck band off. And when I got ready to put the neck band on, I was like, where is it? I couldn't find the neck band anywhere. So I'm assuming I must have thrown it in the garbage. So I always like now read over and look over everything and make sure, you know, did I make sure I got all the pieces. Okay, I'm just toss that there. So let me see. Now I'm gonna move on. So I think what did I just do? I think I did a leg and the top front piece. I remember you can see the lady on the, on the front has her hands in the pockets. Okay, so yes, it has pockets. Always love a pocket or two. Okay. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to mention about the threads issue, the February 2021 issue. They have a very good, well, what I found to be a very good front fly facing, not fly facing, front fly zipper tutorial for pants. So it was about two or three pages worth of information. And I thought it was very easy to follow and they had pictures demonstrating each step and I was like, okay, I'm going to keep this 
and I will use this, you know, as a reference on, you know, how to put in a fly zipper because every time I get ready to put one in, I don't know how to do it by heart, so I'm always following the directions, but I thought it was nice to have these other directions too that I can, you know, make a quick reference to if I'm not following what the directions are saying in the pattern. So that's a recommendation if you're interested in a great tutorial for fly front zipper. I would highly recommend the one in the threads magazine. One thing I like to do when I am looking through a magazine that I like, a sewing magazine, if I find an article that I want to keep, I will tear the article out of the magazine and then I went and I purchased a notebook and then I have the page protectors and I will just take the pages out of the magazine and slip them in the page protectors and then you know I just keep the notebook in my sewing room and I just have those particular pages that I really really like or that I find to be very helpful and that way you know if I want to grab it grab my little book of tutorials and tips that's where I go to put my hand on something quickly and especially if I don't you know end up keeping the magazine then at least I pulled out the, the part that you know I found to be most helpful for me and that's what I did with this one with the zipper tutorial because I was like oh this is really good I'm gonna add this to a notebook so that's that this pattern calls for a knit fabric and I am planning to use a knit fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and it's green the model is wearing a green one and I just so happened to find a green one with some green fabric also that wasn't my plan but I like the fabric and it just so happened to be green and the fabric that I picked is more of an army green I'm looking at the pattern cover and the one that she's wearing is not an army green it's a little darker but um, and I'm saying army green I guess army green could be a lot of different shades but it's more like I don't know maybe kind of like olive or something like that but it's lighter I'll just say that it's lighter than the green shade that the model is wearing and I let me, let me make sure I got them all did I get every little piece yeah I did that is not fun when you're cutting out and you realize you forgot something it's like oh no so I had to like improvise improvise like what do I do now my paper fell over my pattern is over here on the floor let me grab it all right so now I'm getting down to the last little section so there aren't that many pieces do you all read through your pattern and the directions before you cut them out what does this say we hate seeing paper go to waste use this space to write down something you are excited about oh that's cute So there's a little square here saying you can write something in the box. That's cute. Okay. So I was asking if you all read through your patterns and your directions before you start a project. I don't typically. I have before. I will. Especially if I have a question about something. But that's not something that I do routinely. So I said all that to say I did not read through any of this stuff. I opened it for the first time here on camera. So I wasn't exactly sure how many pieces were in this jumpsuit. And I'm realizing now that it's not that many. I'm almost done. This is actually the last piece that I have to cut out. And then I'll be done. So that's pretty cool. I do have a sh uh, sewing make 
that I want to share with you also in this video. It is actually this garment that I'm wearing. <clears throat> and some of you may recognize this fabric from a two-piece animal print set that I made and shared. And this is a fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby also. And I didn't realize it until after the video was released, but I forgot to mention that the fabric is a knit. And what I love about the fabric is it's really soft. So I purchased quite a bit of it. I don't have any more now. I used it all up, but I was able to get three garments out of the amount that I purchased. So this dress is the last garment that I was that I made out of this fabric and this dress is just something simple just to kind of throw on here and there another little casual make and it's a pattern that I've made before which is 80 or simplicity 8135 or 8175 I'll make sure to put it on the screen but it's just a simple little pullover dress but what I did differently is I added a drawstring to the side of the dress all right so I have my pattern all cut out I'm gonna have to clean up all these pieces that I threw on the floor just to get out of my way and I will also share with you what this dress looks like on and I will tell you what I did to put the drawstring in let me see if I can pull it up a little bit to show you I have on jeans under this so let me see if I can come closer So I just split the side of the hem. So, and the way I did that was instead of sewing the side seam all the way to the bottom, I just stopped like, I don't know, what is this? Maybe an inch and a half or so from the bottom edge. So I just sewed all the way down and then I left about an inch and a half or so open and finished it you know folded in the raw edges and finish that off and then that created an opening for me to be able to pull a piece of string trim or whatever you want to call this <laughs> to pull this through the hole and create like a little drawstring there yes this is my little comfortable dress and I like it I shared before that I have some notebooks that I made and whenever I make a garment I will write down all the details in this notebook ring it's a bound binder type of notebook a spiral that's what it is and so I would write down everything and then when I got ready to share a garment I pull out my notebook and read all the details well, I recently decided that I want to record all my sewing makes electronically. So I found an app that I wanted to share with you. So this is my love share. So the app is called Bubble Up and I have been really liking it so far. So I'm able to grab a picture off the internet of a garment or a pattern, I should say, and then I can save it inside Bubble Up. Whatever I want to say or know about the garment, I can just type it in instead of writing everything down and it's been a great resource and they also have a website the same bubble up so you could just go to the website and once you log in all your information is there as well as on your 
mobile device. You can use it for other things. That's just what I use it for. So I have really been enjoying the Bubble Up app and maybe you will like it too. If any of the videos on this channel have encouraged you to do something, to make something, or maybe even go somewhere new, please send me a voice recording about it, a short video, or even a picture or two. Your submission may be selected and shared in a subsequent video because not only are you appreciated, but what has encouraged you may also help someone else grow.